Hello everyone. I hope all of you are safe at home. I just want to convey you a message that please do not hesitate to get yourself vaccinated. Get your vaccine, also vaccinate your family members. Today, we will be discussing about the black fungus or the black fungal disease, which has creating a huge mess in COVID-19 healthcare management, especially country like India. So what is this black fungus disease? The black fungus disease is nothing but known as mucormycosis. So mucormycosis is a fungal infection which is caused by a group of fungi from the order mucorels. A few examples of mucoral fungi are mucor species or rhizopa species. These fungi mostly found in the environment, mainly in soil or animal excreta. So this is the basic structure of this fungi where the long tubular structure is known as hyphae and the sac-like structure holds the fungal spores. And these fungal spores are the major agent for the infection. So how do we get this infection? The major route of entry for this fungi into the human host is the inhalation of fungal spores. There is another alternative entry possible, which is less frequent. That is through various wounds or cuts on skin surfaces. But the major entry is the inhalation of fungal spores. This fungal disease is not a new disease. It was known earlier also, and it is a very rare disease. But although this disease is very rare, this is correlate or associated with a high mortality rate ranging from 50 to 90% among immunocompromised patients. What does it mean? It means that when the immune system is weak, so in normal condition, every day we inhale a thousands or lakhs of fungal or bacterial spores, but our strong immune system can fight against them and destroy those spores or invading pathogens. But in case of the weak immune system, so when the immune system gets weak, so suppose uh, there are a few diseases like the diabetes, cancer, HIV, AIDS infection, and also the people who are going through several surgical methods or organ transplants. So in these cases, the immune system gets weakened. And those people or patients are called as immunocompromised patients. So in those kind of immunocompromised patients, these fungi can cause a severe fungal infection, which is called as black fungus fungal disease or mucormycosis. In healthy host also, they can cause disease, but the fungal infection is either there is no fungal infection or very rare fungal infection or very mild fungal infection. But for immunocompromised patient, the fungal infection is very, very, very severe, which is associated with high mortality rate, which means if 100 patients have this fungal infection, among them about 50 to 90% or 50 to 90 people will die due to this fungal infection. This is this much severe. So that is why this infection is known as opportunistic infection, which means when the fungus get opportunity, means the weakened immune system, it can lead to severe mucormycosis. So let's discuss about the various types of mucormycosis observed. The first one is the rhinocerebral mucormycosis, which occur in the brain or sinus. The second one is pulmonary mucormycosis, which occurs in lungs. So these are two major types frequently observed among COVID-19 patients or COVID-19 survivors. 
third one is gastrointestinal mucor mycosis. So these mucor mycosis occur in gastrointestinal tract, and this is this mucor mycosis infection occurs among infect infants mainly, not in adults. That in adults, gastrointestinal mucor mycosis cases are very very rare. Fourth one is cutaneous mucor mycosis when the mucor enters through skin cuts or wound. So it is known as cutaneous mucor mycosis. And to, uh, to cause cutaneous mucor mycosis, the fungus do not require any immunocompromised or weak immune system. They can infect a healthy, a healthy human uh, uh, with cutaneous mucor mycosis by entering into the host body through several uh, cuts or wounds. And the final one is the disseminated mucor mycosis. Disseminated word means the spread. So in disseminated mucor mycosis, when the fungi enters the bloodstream level and through the bloodstream, it spreads all over the body and infects several tissue and several organs. So this is the most severe form of mucor mycosis, the disseminated mucor mycosis. So here is the percentage of the mortality rates associated with these types where you see 90% mortality rate for disseminated mucor mycosis. So see how severe it is. Out of 100 patients, 96 patients may die. Also for the pulmonary and rhinocerebral mucor mycosis patients, the mortality rate is very, very high compared to the COVID mortality rate. So that is the reason in the second wave of COVID infections or COVID-19, people are, the death rates are more higher. People are not dying because of COVID only. They are dying because of various secondary infection. Among them, this mucor mycosis is emerging, uh, uh, emerging as a severe and like concerned fungal infection or mycosis. So why this mucor mycosis is highly associated with COVID-19 patients? So there is two major reasons. The first one is COVID-19 patients have weak immune system because of several factors involved, such as the long treatment, their uh, weak physiological system, such as weak heart, less oxygen supply, etc. And apart from the weak immune system, another major factor which increases the risk of mucor mycosis is the highly use of steroids or steroid drugs. So steroid drugs are used to prevent the inflammations among the COVID-19 patients. So these steroid drugs also adversely affect a human host during any infection. So these two are major cause why the, because of why the COVID-19 patients have the secondary infection known as the black fungal, black fungal disease or mucor mycosis. So amphotericin B injection is the last resort of antifungal treatment against the mucor mycosis. This amphotericin B injection is given intravenously among the infected patients. So in general, to treat fungal diseases, we have very less number of antifungal drugs. The common drugs are azole drugs such as fluconazole, goriconazole, ketoconazole, it kind of can be like casopungin, but these antifungals doesn't work for mucor mycosis fungal infection. Amphotericin B injection is the last resort of the, it's the last weapon we have, but it also has two consequences or two drawbacks. Number one, amphotericin B antifungal drug is 
highly expensive, very, very expensive. And the second thing is amphotericin B does also cause side effects in human host. But we don't have any option. We only have amphotericin B available to prevent the mucormycosis or to treat mucormycosis. And I would also like to convey a message that although I mentioned about amphotericin B, but don't go for self-treatment. Amphotericin B injection should be used after the prescription from a uh, recognized or registered clinic, clinicians or doctors. So please don't buy amphotericin B by yourself and self-treat yourself if you feel that you have a mucormycosis or etc. Go to a doctor, take advice and take take the proper medication from the doctor itself. So this is all for today. If you like this video, please like this video, share this video and let us know about your opinion at the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe this channel. We will try to bring more videos on this channel to keep this channel active. So thank you till then, bye-bye and stay safe, stay at home.